A ship sailing on Charleston Harbor is no unfamiliar sight, but this vessel can be somewhat deceiving, especially given the work it does. What the dredge does is it has basically two big arms that come down and act sort of like a vacuum cleaner, and it sucks up the material off the bottom and brings it into the center part of the ship. And once the ship is full, we go out to the ocean disposal site and the, the bottom parts of the ship will open up and we'll dispose of that material. Simply put, the Glen Edwards picks up the harbor's floor. It's one of the largest ships of its kind in the country. She can hold a little over 13,000 cubic yards where um, a lot of other hopper dredgers can only hold somewhere between four and 6,000 cubic yards. So yeah, Glen Edwards, she's a big one. It seems and looks rather complicated, but it's just a part of harbor life and could become part of a much larger project if Charleston leaders are awarded federal funds to deepen the harbor by five feet. Ships are going to are going to have a bigger draft. They're going to be a little bit wider, um, and those are the types of ships that are going to start calling on harbors. And so we need to make sure that from a federal perspective, we make the harbor operate as efficiently as possible. And on average, the Army Corps of Engineers dredge about 2.1 million cubic yards of sediment right here in the Charleston Harbor every year. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, Valencia Wicker, ABC News 4. All right, thank you, Valencia. And deeping the harbor, by the way, would cost about $300 million. Well,